Hey Leo, welcome guys. I hope you're having a great day so far. We are going to do something a little bit different today. I'm super excited about this. So this read is not going to be for you but it is going to be for your soulmate. So we're gonna give you a little window uh, into the heart, the mind, and the life of your soulmate. We'll see what they're going through right now. And guys, uh, if this resonates with you and the relationship that you're currently in, it may indicate you have already found your soulmate. So listen closely. If nothing else, it's definitely gonna give you some insight into who you are meant to be with. Let's see. Ooh. So we have smoke and mirrors. So this might be something that they're dealing with right now. Maybe they uh, came out of a relationship that was very dishonest and they're having to uh, sort of process the emotions that go along with this. This might also speak to them recognizing inner truths within themselves. I do have a grand symphony. So this is speaking to the future. I actually see the word future when I pulled this card. This is speaking to what's coming. This is speaking to the love and the relationship that the two of you are going to have together. I also have Waking the Lion. Interesting, Waking the Lion is about empowerment. It's about taking back control, taking the reins back in your life and moving forward and making choices. We have Ears Wide Open too. Interesting. I wonder if this Ears Wide Open is referring to, and this might even be signs from the universe. Uh, this might be staying receptive to meeting a new person, which is when you come along, uh, so that they're in the right mind space. Um, and the right, the right place in their heart to, to bring a new love into their life. I also have great and full, being grateful. Being grateful for all the wonderful things in their life. Uh, being grateful for who they are as a person, but also being grateful for your qualities. And this ties into smoke and mirrors, guys. Uh, this is speaking to an ex is the word that comes to my mind. Somebody who they have dealt with in the past, uh, who pretend to be one thing, but are actually something else. Uh, this grateful is speaking to them finally meeting somebody who is true and honest and has integrity and doesn't walk around with this big old social mask on and then is something completely different uh, on the other side of that. That's what this is speaking to. They're about to find you and you are who they're really looking for and they're going to be grateful to find you, to finally find you instead of constantly dealing with the smoke and mirrors. People who are not what they pretend to be. That's what they've been getting in the past. And so their ears are going to be wide open. They're going to be listening to a lot of what you say. They might even have trust issues, guys. Uh, you might have to sort of uh, work your way through this with them as well and be patient and allow them to see that you are truly who you are. I have the Knight of Pentacles, so something they've been working towards for a long time finally coming to fruition. This is you. This is you. You're that pentacle that they've been working towards for a long time. It's that love connection. That's why they're going to be so grateful when they do find you and realize uh, that you are who they've been waiting for and looking for for so long. The Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords represents a selfish or short one victory. Victory at the cost of others. Uh, this is this is tying into ears wide open. This is tying into their trust issues because they have been lied to a lot in the past. So they might come off almost... I want to say like caging off their heart. They're going to be a little bit unsure though. They're, they're going to be a little bit wary until they get to know you a bit better to be able to see that you're not another one of these smoke and mirrors people who they've been dealing with. I also have the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords represents delayed or disappointing news, but this Page of Swords, I look at it and right away I get pulled to smoke and mirrors. So this is also tying into what they've had to deal with before in the past. At least one ex, maybe multiple people who are selfish, vapid, vain, and not what they appear to be. They pretend to be one thing, but they are not. They are all smoke and mirrors. I do have the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is good news on the way. So again, tying into this Knight of Pentacles, right? We have the same suit, this good news. So you're going to meet this person soon. You are the Pentacle uh, that these cards are referring to. You're that good news on the way. I also have the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands represents a journey over time. They have been looking for you for quite some time. They have been looking for somebody real who they can connect with for a very long time. And they have been getting a whole lot of not that. They've been getting this page of swords. They've been getting this smoke and mirrors. I also have the nine of swords. This is speaking to their trust issues. It's speaking to the ears wide open. Um, this nine of swords can represent feeling trapped or stuck in negative emotions or thoughts so much so that you have trouble finding clarity. They are gonna have trouble 
not looking at you through this filter uh, that all these other people in their past have caused. Uh, because what they've seen so far is that everybody lies. Everybody pretends to be one thing when there's something else. So even though you are not like that, it is going to take them time to see that for themselves because they will look at you with this filter, just like they will look at anybody else through this filter, because this is what they've experienced in their life. This is what their experiences have taught them to do. So you are going to have to be patient with them. I have the Five of Cups though. So the Five of Cups is a warning not to get stuck in negative emotions, so much so that you have trouble seeing the positive things around you. And this is a warning to them not to allow these trust issues to carry on to the point that it actually pushes you away uh, when the two of you come together because you are someone they should be grateful for. You are somebody who's steady and who's honest and who's in it for the long haul. You're someone who they can count on. You are not smoke and mirrors. And this is something that they're going to have to realize for themselves uh, and sooner rather than later so that they can really truly invest and the two of you can build together. I have the two of cups. This is the two of you. This is this deep emotional bond that the two of you can have. There is no smoke and mirrors in here. This is all honesty and integrity. This is solid and this is long lasting. I have the page of cups, which repre represents good news on the way, sitting right next to that two of cups. So the two of you are about to meet. This hasn't happened yet. The two of you are about to meet. They're about to come. You guys are about to come together. They've been looking for you for a long time, but they're going to have trouble seeing you through their trust issues. And this might be something that the two of you have to address together. And it's something that they are going to have to work through because the two of you, the two of you are this grand symphony. This is what your love is going to be. It's going to be this grand symphony, this beautiful two of cups. This is what's coming uh, your way and their way. What a beautiful, wonderful read, guys. That's so exciting. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the read, and thank you so much for tuning in, Leo. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.